Now we are doing exercise 1.2, question number 6, Roman number 3. Roman number 3, Roman number 2. Roman number 2, we have 3 root 2. I need to represent 3 root 2 on a number line. How to do that? Draw a line. After that, after this line, take the point here. Let this be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this. And this is minus 1, let's say. Now, what you need to do is, first, you need to make it root 2, 1. Solution for root 2. So 2, you can write down as, we can write, we can write, we can write, what can we write? We can write down 2. We can write down 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 or this one is 1 square plus 1 square. 1 square is 1, 1 square is 1. I can write down like this. Now, so 1 square, 1 square. Take this 1 and draw a 1 here. From 0 to 1, you draw a line. After that, you draw 90 degree. Take your protector and draw 90 degree. And the length of this one also must be equal to 1. This is 1. The length of this one is 1. So the upper one, the perpendicular one also must be 1. After that, you join the line, this one. After you join the line, you got, after you join the line, you got this. Now, what is this? Let me name it A, B, C. So this is A, this is B, this is C. So I can write in triangle A, B, C using Pythagoras theorem. theorem in triangle ABC. I can write on AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. BC is how much? 1 square plus AC is how much? 1 square. So AB square is equal to 1 square is 1, 1 square is 1. So AB Square will go this side and it will become root. So root over 1 plus 1 is 2. So I got AB to be root 2. So what you can do is take your compass. The pin side you can put here. Pencil side you put here. And make a curve line. Make a curve here. If you make a curve here like this. this will, Your curve will look somewhere like this. Now what you will do is name this point. Can you see this? Let me zoom a little bit. A, B, C, let's say D. You got point B, D. Now, B, D is how much? Root 2. Because you are taking root 2 and making B, D, right? But question is asking 3 root 2. So, what you will do is B, D, you will take the same compass, okay? You will not change the compass, the size of the compass, which you have taken as B, A, and cut down to B, D. Take the pin side of the compass to be here in D, and again, mark, okay? Again, you mark like this. And after that, take this point again, name it E, and from this point again, you mark again. Okay? After you mark like this, now you have reached a point. Now you have reached a point. The point which this point, okay, E, F. I don't know where it will lie. I hope it will lie over here. Now F is the point that will represent how much? 3 root 2. That's it. B, F. So, BF is equal to how much? BD plus DE plus EF. BD, DE, EF. BD, DE, EF. All are same. We have taken same compass length. Right. So BD plus BD plus BD. BD plus BD plus BD is 3 times BD. Now, since it is 3 times BD, and BD, BD, BD and BA are same. We are taking same compass. So, 3 of BA. What is BA? Root 2, right? So, 3 of root 2. So, 3 of root 2, 
I got 3 of root 2. So which is what? Bf. So therefore, Bf is equal to 3 root 2. F represents the point 3 root 2. I hope you understood this much. Hope so. If you didn't, please do write in the comment below. I'll be happy to help you. That's all. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.